This is Gemara Shabbos, Adaf, Mem, Alif, Omid, Alif. We're holding in the bottom of Mem, Omid, B. Six lines in the bottom, Omid, Ravina. We're in the middle of the convergence of the sugyas of Bishol with the sugya of Chamei Teveria. Says Ravina, Shema, Mina. I apologize for that pause. Says Ravina, Shema, Mina. You know, we see from the story with Rabbi that he went into the bathhouse that it must be the fact that he didn't let them cook in the waters. And he said it has to be cliche Must be that the din of Bishel Bechami Tveria is Deraisa. Why? Because the story of Rebbe proves the Gemara. Tomai said the Rebbe is Achel Gzeira Hava. He must have been after the Gzeira. Or else how could he have gone into the bathhouse? And yet... What did he say? Amr lay told Bikli Shani Viten. For the fact that he only said Kli Shani must be that cooking Bikli Rishain even in the Chamei Tveria must be Daraisa. Ask the Gemara, Aini, is that true? Of Amr Rav Chiz Vashach Chamei Tveria B'Shabes. Potter, Isr de Rabbanon. Says the Gemara, May Chayev. What does it mean that it's Chayev? Not me, the Kamar. Makos Martis. So we have this at times, even though, of course, makes all the rules confusing because the word Chayim usually means the Raisa. The word Pater usually means the Rabbanan. But there are times that the Gemara takes the liberty to say that no, the Chayim that it is is only a Chayim on a Rabbanan. Makos Martis. Take a level. Continues the Gemara. Amr Azera. Ani Chaziti the Rabbavua Dishot Bambati. That he went into a bath, a pool of water. And I don't know, did he pick up his legs from the ground or not? Says the Gemara. Of course he didn't pick up his legs from the ground. Why? You're not allowed to float in a bath, in a pool filled with water. And even if the pool is in the chatzar, still... You're not allowed, which is a Rosh Hashanah And therefore, we're not really worried that the water is going to flow into a different Rosh Still, it's Aser. So Lechaira says the Gemara, it's Pasha, he didn't pick up his legs. Says the Gemara, like Kasha. Ha, as we move over to the Mal of Amir Aleph. Ha, the less like Gedudi. Ha, the is like Gedudi. The difference between the cases is, is there a wall to the side of the pond? If there's a wall, that's the case. In which we know the water is not going to go over the edge. That's going to be the case. That's going to be mutter. When there's no wall, that's going to be similar to the river. And that's going to be the case that it's going to be aser. Continues the Gemara. The Omar Rav Zera. The two dots. Tab line. Memalav Omar Alev. Omar Rav Zera. Ani Chazid Ravua. That when he was bathing in the river, he covered up his pun of Shalmata, which of course, pun of is a Lashon Saginar. It's referring to his private areas. And says Rav Zeira, I do not know if Rav Avua, when he covered himself up with his hand, he naga, he naga. Did he touch himself or not? Ask the Gemara, she taught the Eloi Naga. Why? Did Tanya be learned to the rise of the Zerim and Kolechis Bamu Mashin? If you hold your Amma, if you hold your Aver and you urinate, Kilo Mavi Mabu Loilam. Why? Because it could cause one, the De Kishoi, and it could come to carry, which is a destruction to the world. Amar Abaya says, Abaya, you know what Rav Zerim's suffix was? His suffix was, Aso Kivoy Leshes. That. It, it, is it like a Bailashis? Bailashis is a time of a Mulchama, which in such an area, the Allah is, that now we learned in the Mishnah, Bailashis, when the troops are coming to a city, Bishas Oilam, Bishas Shalom, if they come through at a time of peace, Chavias Besuchas Asurais, all open barrels are also, because we're afraid that the troops touch the wine as they walked through, thereby assuring up all the wine. Stumais are Mutarais. Bishas Melchama, if the time of a battle and the troops go through the city, Elu Veelu Mutarais, why? Lefi Shein Benaylan Asich, they're in the middle of a battle, they're not coming to touch your wine. So Alma, what do we see from this story? Kivan Debi Isei, 
since they're nervous, they're afraid, they're in the middle of a battle, loy menaschi, they're not going to pour wine to their avoid desire, they're not going to touch the wine. So too, says the Gemara, an application of this idea of being mifached, hachanami in the story of the Rav Avua, kivan devayis, he's in the river, and therefore, it's not the most common moments when he's breathing in the river. Therefore, the Shiloh was that what lost in We don't have to be worried that by touching himself he might come to have inappropriate thoughts because he's in a situation of Bachad. That's the reason why. But that's the reason why Rav Zira had a Shiloh whether he touched himself and says the Gemara of Ocham I be Susa be Susa de Nara. He was afraid he didn't want to drown. And that was Rav Zira's Shiloh that he declared that when Rav Avua covered himself up as he was bathing, that he was even allowed to touch himself. Asks the Gemara, Aini, is this what happened? The Rav Avua covered himself up when he bathed. Vamar Rav Abba, Amar Rav Una, Amar Rav. If you cover up, your are there, teaches the Gemara. It looks like you're embarrassed about your bris mila. So it looks like that you're kaifer in the bris of Avram Avinu. So how could it be that Rav Avua covered himself up? Answers the Gemara, fundamental terrets. This goes all the way. La la Like Asha. That which we said, it's Aser. Ha ki nachis, when you're going down to the river. And therefore, there's no tzniyas, there's no one in front of you, just the river. So when you're going down, there's no reason you cover yourself up. And if you cover yourself up at that point, that shows that you're embarrassed of your bris. But the ha, when did Rav cover himself up? Ki salik, when you're walking up and there are people that see you, then there's an issue of tzniyas. Then you're allowed to cover yourself up. And this is in reality the way... That we pass it by a mikvah as well. People know that they're supposed to cover themselves. That's only on the way up. That's only when there are people that can see you. Then yes, you're allowed to cover yourself. When there's no one that's seeing you when you're going into the water, then there's no reason to cover yourself. But when you're coming back up, or when you're standing near people, then of course, there's always the my of Sneas to be covered. Says the Gemara Kya de Rava, just like Rava when he bathed the Shachi, when he was going down, he would bend over so you couldn't see his private areas. Rav Zira Zakif and Rav Zira on the way up, and Rav Zira would walk straight even on the way up, and he didn't cover himself up. Why? Because he was chayshish. Rav Zira was always chayshish for the issue of covering over your breasts. Rabban and Ravashi kika nachasi zakfi. When they went into the river, they went in erect. They went in standing straight. There's no reason to cover yourself up. There's nothing. There's no tzniyas. But Kika Salki, when they came up, then Shachi, then they bent over to make sure, due to Sneas, that they were covered. Continues the Gemara with another story with Rav Zira, about 12 lines from the wide lines. The first one line is Salki Vishachi. Rav Zira, they come Ishtamin with Rav Yehuda. Rav Zira didn't want Rav Yehuda to see him. Why? To buy the basic Lard Israel. So Rav Zira wanted to go up to Eretz Israel, and Rav Yehuda held he shouldn't. I'm Rav Yehuda, call me over to Eretz Israel. Like everybody say, you're not allowed to go up, Rav Yudah held. Why? Shanamar, Bivali of Obashamiyu. They reviewed the hell, they have to stay in Bavel until the base of Igdush was built. And therefore, Rav Zira, though, wanted to go. And he didn't want to see Rav Yudah. Amar, Rav Zira said, He's of Eshamine Milsa. Let me go and learn something from Rav Yudah. The AC, the ASIC, and then I'll go up there to Israel. Azal, Vashkei, the Kaibe Bani. And he found Rav Yudah was standing in the, ba- in the bathhouse. Udkamar, Leila Shame. <coughs> and Rav Yudu was telling his attendant, Have you lean Nasser? Bring me the Nasser to scrub my head. Have you lean Masrek? Bring me the comb to comb my hair. Peschu pumaychu v'apich havlei. Open up the pipes and increase the steam. Ve'ishu manaya dvei bani. And drink the water, the hot water while they're bathing, even though it was made for bathing. Amar. Based on all this, said Rav Zira, El Mole Basi, El Shmaya Dover Zaf, I just came for this one thing to hear this. Then, Dayai, it would be enough. Says the Gemara, Pesh Lama, 
I understand that Rav, Rav Yehuda said, give me the soap, give me the comb. Kamash Malan, Rav Zira learned from that statement, always observing, dissecting the words of the Rebbe. You let us say, mundane matters in a bathhouse in Hebrew. He learned, that the heaven increases. Therefore, therefore, by inhaling the Hevel, he felt it was good for the health. He told to increase the Hevel so he could, he could breathe it in. Ella, when Rav Yehuda said to his attendant, Ishtu, Mayat Vedani, to drink the waters, Maimel Yusa, what did Rav Zir learn from that? Answers the Gemara, Ditanya Ochav Leishasa. If someone ate but did not drink, Achilas Oidam, it's as if he ate blood. This is the beginning of of intestinal illness. The food gets all messed up. Your breath smells bad if you eat without moving. Someone needs to use the bathroom. And he eats. It's like an oven that you light on top of its ashes. If you bathe and you didn't drink, you're only heating it on the outside, but if you were to drink, it would also heat you off on the inside. If you never put off in cold water, of course, when you put the iron into cold water afterwards, it solidifies the iron. If you bathe, you don't, you don't rub your body with oils. And these are all the different dinim, the etiquette practices, and Rav Zira learned from Rav Yudu, one of them, to drink while you're bathing in hot water, warms you up from the inside and the out. One more short Mishnah, says the Mishnah, Mulyar Hagaruf, a Mulyar, which is a type of pot, Hagaruf, that the coals were, were were um coped away. Shaisin a manu b'shabes. You could drink from that hot water on Shabbos. Antichi. However, antichi pat avu b'shay grufa ein shaisin. So says the Gemara. What's going on over here? Hechi dami moli agarof tana mayim bevnim. What the case is? You have the water inside the pot. Ugachalam ibachotz. But Antichi, the reverse, which was also Rabba Amar Bey Kiri. Rabba says it's like a base Kirayim, that the open area of the oven is split up into two different areas. One has the coals and one has the water. And therefore, even after you remove the coals, you cannot drink from the water. Why? Because the walls are so thick and therefore the fire that burns is always there. And the wall stays so hot. So even by removing the coals, it's still too hot. This is a dud gadol, a large pot. Mandam rabbi dudi kol shkain be kiri. But the other way says the gemara. Mandam rabbi kiri have a be dudi low. Then it would be mutter. The gemara concludes. Tanik vaster am nachman atich have a mi she gerufa uktuma ein shaisini menem mei that watch and the chushta michamu mux. It's very very hot. Like we just explained. We'll pick up from the mishnah of siyata dishmaya.